This is March 2nd in Kyiv, the sixth day that we are in Kyiv following the escalation of the situation in Ukraine. Last night in Kyiv, the alarm sounded several times again. Here I am in Belarusian capital of Minsk as a new round of talks between Russia and Ukraine is scheduled to take place on Wednesday. I'm heading to the Belarusian Polish border to check out the latest. When we were doing an interview at a university in Elviv just now, a siren suddenly sounded. It was very loud. This is Rostov on Don in the Rostov region in southern Russia. Members from the special monitoring mission of the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe arrived here last night. I'm now at the Siret Frontier checkpoint on Romania's northeastern border with Ukraine, the largest one on the border between the two countries. Now I'm in Kishinev, Moldova's capital city. Today we will try to pass through the border city, Polanka, try to enter Ukraine. Our destination is Odessa, Ukraine's third biggest city. The Russian armed forces have destroyed 1,325 Ukrainian military infrastructure objects since the start of the operation, Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Klasinkov said Tuesday. U.S. President Joe Biden spoke with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky on Tuesday. According to a readout from the White House, they discussed the United States' continued backing and help for Ukraine. Zelensky made an emotional speech during a plenary session of the European Parliament on Tuesday asking for an accession of Ukraine into the European Union. European Council President Charles Michel pledged to look at the request seriously, but admitted the process would be difficult.